we didn't expect them this early, but well, I guess they're here. What's up guys, Joey here of Yugatech, and now that foldable phones are officially becoming one of 2019's hottest tech trends, let's see why everybody is going crazy over them. Aside from their eye-popping prices that make your wallets cringe. Samsung recently announced their foldable smartphone, the Galaxy Fold, but meanwhile, Huawei was working on their own thing as they came in with their own challenger, the Mate X, which was first shown off at MWC 2019 in Barcelona. It's a no-brainer that both phones are intended to work two ways, either as a smartphone or when you fold it out as a tablet. This is the fundamental idea of having a foldable smartphone. So far, we don't really have an idea of how these two phones will fare as daily drivers, but based on the information we do have so far, we can do a quick comparison, on paper of course. At first glance, you might just say they look alike, but taking a closer look, they actually fold in different ways. As the Galaxy Fold was announced together with the S10 series, it has a few design similarities to the latest flagship. It has a design that can almost be described as reflective, looking like two S10 units combined together. And when folded, it fits right into a pocket. It's got a small cover screen on the outside and a screen that opens up like a book on the inside. On the other hand, Huawei's Mate X uses two screens at the front and the back. Then the whole thing folds outwards into a bigger screen. So you get three screens in total. Obviously, it doesn't really open up like a book or anything, but its dual-sided flexible OLED panel bends outwards thanks to a Falcon Wing metal hinge. I do hope this won't be prone to scratches in the future because of that. Both phones do not have a headphone jack. Instead, they both keep a USB-C port as its only input or output. And the Galaxy Fold has no micro SD card option, while the Mate X has a hybrid dual SIM plus micro SD card slot with support for standalone 5G. But don't worry, if it's that important to you, the Galaxy Fold is expected to have 4G and 5G versions when it comes out. Also, neither of them have any fancy in-display fingerprint scanners, but instead, their power buttons are integrated with the fingerprint reader. As for the actual displays, the unfolded Mate X has a large 8-inch screen with a resolution of 2200 by 2480. When folded, you get a 6.6-inch front panel and a 6.38-inch one for the back. There's no notch for the Mate X here, but it has this hard-to-miss strip on the back where the cameras are placed and a curved wing that serves as a handhold. Also, noticeably, I really like how Huawei managed to minimize the bezels. Meanwhile, the Galaxy Fold has a 7.3-inch dynamic AMOLED display when unfolded, which is a little bit smaller than the Mate X. Plus, it does have a notch on the upper right to give space for two camera lenses and sensors. When folded, you get a notch-free 4.6-inch Super AMOLED cover display. The screen is very good, and as we've seen with the S10 series display, it absolutely stands out. Moving on, let's not forget about the cameras. If you don't know it yet, well, the Galaxy Fold has a total of six cameras. You get a 10 megapixel selfie camera on the small cover screen, and then another set of dual 10 plus 8 megapixel front cameras, and at the back you get triple 12 plus 12 plus 16 megapixel cameras. So far, the Mate X has three cameras, a 40 megapixel wide angle lens, 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and 8 megapixel telephoto lens. So basically the same setup as the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. There's no final say yet, but Huawei consumer CEO Richard Yu confirmed that there will be a total of four cameras. The other one will be official when the Huawei P30 series gets announced. Heading to battery, the Galaxy Fold has a 4,380 mAh capacity with fast charging, wireless charging, and wireless power share. So you can also use it like a wireless charger, just like the S10 and S10 Plus. The Mate X, on the other hand, has a slightly bigger 4,500 mAh battery with Huawei's 55 watt charger, which can supercharge the device up to 80% in just 30 minutes. This is powered by a Kirin 980 plus a new Balong 5000 chipset for full 5G support. The Mate X also comes with 8GB of RAM and 512GB of storage that's expandable by up to 256GB via microSD card. Now under the hood of the Galaxy Fold is a Snapdragon 855 chipset 
alongside a massive 12 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of internal storage. There's no option for expanding the storage here, but really, come on. If 512 gigabytes is not enough for you, then frankly, I don't know what is. Both smartphones come with Android 9 Pie out of the box with EMUI 9.1.1 for the Mate X. There's no confirmation yet from Samsung here, but most likely it's gonna be one UI again like the S10 series. Now talking about their astronomical prices, Samsung gave the Galaxy Fold a $1,980 price tag or around 100,000 pesos when directly converted. It'll be available starting April 26, 2019. For the Mate X, it's gonna be available for 2,299 euros or around 136,000 pesos when directly converted. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no official release date yet, but we can expect it to be available sometime around the second quarter. And there you have it, guys. So we have a lot of questions about foldable phones, but one thing's for sure, these big tech companies are really trying to push the limits. So I'm gonna pass the question off to you. If you had to pick, and of course, if you had the money, which one would you go for? The Galaxy Fold or the Huawei Mate X? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's thanks to a falcon wing metal hinge. What the fuck is a falcon wing? What is that? Yeah. Ah! Ah! Super <laughs> 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 The panel bends upwards thanks to a falcon wing. <laughs>